Do you want to know how Mold Vinegar do it? Do you really? You might not like what you see. Come with me. I purchased this pipe just the other day. Right. Here we are in the middle of Shanghai, and this is the Metakaya tree. The herbs in here are very, very, very poisonous, and I'm smoking them. Where is it? Where is it? John! 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 What's your idea? What's your idea? I need my idea. John! John! Come on! Come on! Please! Come back! Thomas wasn't getting the creative drive that he needed. So he sent him into the fields of doom. A popular place for the filmers. He found the creative inspiration that he needed and continued on to become the greatest swordsman who ever lived. Now, here we have Thomas, the director. He's a very stern and efficient man in his job. He does not fail to get his point across quickly to his performers. Now Richard, on the other hand, is a very subtle and subliminal director. He acts in a professionally calm manner and tells his performers exactly what he needs very efficiently with very little effort. His graceful movements bless us all. In this short clip, you can see as he is trying to convey to the performers where he wishes the chair to be placed. Fascinating. So, where do you think malt vinegar have been for so long? Well, there are several possibilities, including, but not limited to, in a tree. In a bush! <laughs> Under your bed! Behind your chair! Even in your wardrobe! Or perhaps... Even in your fridge. That can't be done. No, well, if you move the door, it's not physically possible. I, I, I really do think, maybe if you open this... I'm, I'm prepared to do anything for the audience, but I can't, I really can't. I think if we just... We need a bigger fridge. Mm -mm. There's too much milk in there, I can't get in there. We're not with all that milk. But if you take out the shells, and could... the organic raw fat lemon and ginger takes up quite a lot of space. So. Right. You know what? You, you know what? You're right. That narrator is an idiot. Who yeah. even hired him? Why does he think we can fit in a fridge? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a big fridge. Don't get me wrong, it's a big fridge. It definitely it's room. definitely sound, solid. It's uh, big and it's hot point. I've heard of them, they're very good. I went to Curry's once, they said it was good. It doesn't matter where you get it from, we just simply can't. I did ask the question when I bought the fridge, I did say, yeah. would I be able to fit in there? And he said, yeah. Uh, well, I was I was about eight years old at the time. Salesman's. I was about eight years old, so eight. I, uh, eight years, well, my parents were there and I just thought, what a fun question to ask. I'm leaving. Because, you know, you want to know that, in case of a crisis. What's happened to your accent? Nothing. I bought voice changer. <laughs> They could also be behind the trees. They've been on them 
Why not behind them? You know who I am, don't you? Can you see Thomas and Richard from Alt Vinegar Studios behind the trees? Well, can you? Have a guess. Well, the truth is, they're not behind any of them. Thickos. It, it, not, not behind any of them. 